What's up, guys? This is a Divine Masculine and Feminine update. Remember, we both, we all have both energies, so I'm no longer labeling this Divine Masculine, blah, 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 or Divine Feminine, blah, 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 because the energies are mixed. Because we're so close to reconciliation, because we're so close to union with our own dualities and with our partners, Divine Partners, the energies is mixed. So I have like a scale that I wrote in my book, In the Power of I Am. Like you might be on a scale of one of five and five being union. You might be five in um, feminine energy and four masculine energy. Or you're really close to that five, five, really close to that zero point, really. Zero is like in the middle of union. It's like one through five, and five through one with zero in the middle. It's like you're very close to union of both of your dualities. So it's hard to label these readings divine masculine or divine feminine because, again, both energies are present. So allow my breasts to deliver this reading to you guys. Um, I like my rings. I haven't worn them in years and they still shine. I'm the worst, but I love these rings. I will never let these rings go. Okay, so first and foremost, the bottom of the deck energy we have... The night of air. In the end, you tried and cared, and sometimes that's enough in journey. So, this is about masculine and feminine energy, divine energies, people who are on a journey. And we all know this is a divine journey. We know this is a spiritual journey leading you towards a decision. Leading you towards clarity of thought. Leading you towards a clear decision. This journey is leading you to an end point where it's time for you to make a decision. So masculine or feminine, whoever resonates with this, whatever you refer yourself to, it's time to make a decision. Because in the end, you tried and you cared and sometimes that's enough. You know, sometimes we feel like we're on this journey and we fail. And I resonate with that because I fucking hate failing and sometimes I feel like I've failed in a lot. But spirit is saying you try like you you took the you took the step to the leap of faith to start on the journey and that's enough enough is that you try and it's leading you towards reconciliation with your partner and i'm using reconciliation because this is for people who know each other and connected with their divine partner already when you become this close to union in a journey it's not with it's usually with someone you usually already know who your partner is. Or even if you don't know who it is, it's usually somebody you've already connected with. So the first card we have is Archangel Michael. The first chakra, Archangel Michael. This is about stability. So one of the energies, um, feminine, masculine, whoever you resonate as, you're trying to provide manifestability in your life. This could be both energies. And I, I, do, res I do believe it's both energies. So you're resonating stability and security in your finances in your love in your life period you're manifesting it by trying you're trying to keep the faith to manifest success and stability in your life and the spirit is saying be strong just archangel michael is saying be strong have faith and continue to work towards manifesting security and stability and it's coming success is coming a secure foundation is coming um success and stability in your life and finance and love life is coming but in order to get here in order to get this level of stability and love the first thing you need to do is make a decision so we're dealing with energies who haven't made a decision so masculine or feminine whoever you re resonate as you're indecisive this could be the masculine energy. It's like choosing between more than one person or choosing. Look at this. What I've noticed on this card is, do you go left or right? Look at those two signs. You don't know where to go. You don't know where to go because this energy doesn't know where to go because he or she is scared. But everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Happiness is on the other side of fear. Abundance is on the other side of fear. But you don't know. It's like both of these signs, look at them. But one of them has the white butterfly. Both of these signs say unknown. If you can see that, it says unknown. You don't know what to do because you're scared. What are you afraid of? Masculine or feminine? You're afraid of love. 
with the one of water added to this, it's like you're afraid to choose the wrong person. You're afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of losing balance or look at this with the six of earth and the sun. I do believe it's like you're afraid of losing your divine partner by choosing the wrong person. So it's like if you choose one and that's not it, you're afraid that it's, you, you're just afraid of choosing the wrong person. You don't know which one is your divine partner. With the six of pentacles and the sun together, it's, this, this is divine energy. The sun is divine masculine energy. Six of pentacles is balanced. But what this is saying is you're afraid of choosing the wrong person. You don't want to be hurt. You don't want to hurt anyone. And you, you want to be with your divine partner. You just don't know which one it is. Ooh, I, I do not want that problem. Um, personally, I'm not even thinking about it because I don't. I'm not gonna say I don't care. I do care, but you got six 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 in this reading. I just noticed that. That's the twin flame number. Six six six. The twin flame union number. This is the number of the sun. The number of, they always try to say like 666 is the number of the beast, but actually it's a divine number of the sun. Because 666, 18, 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. It's like 6, 9 dualities. It's the number of the sun. And what I mean by sun is the manifested version of God on earth. A twin flame partnership is about manifesting God on earth, becoming one back with God and yourself and your partner as it was with um the Holy Trinity, whether you believe in Adam and Eve and God or Isis and Osiris and Horus, whatever it is you want to believe. It's about becoming one and being the manifested version of God on earth that you were created to be. Anyway, you're afraid of this person, this energy is afraid of choosing the wrong person. But it's time to make a decision. It doesn't matter. It, the journey has led you to this decision. And you're, you're angels. You've got to believe in your intuition. Believe in your angels. Believe in the divine guidance. I know my hand ain't actually like that. Believe that they've led you here. And all you have to do is try. And it's going to lead you to the right person. What is this lotion? Then you have the garden and the gate. See? That's fear as well. And then also under there you have nine six. Another is still six nine yin yang nine six. But what is it saying? You are or this energy. But first let's look at this card. Outside of that gate is prosperity, freedom, liberation, love, happiness, fulfillment, success, life. Outside of that gate is life, but she's stuck inside the gate because she's playing it safe. So this energy, this person is playing it safe because of lack of belief. You don't believe in yourself. All you need to do is believe in yourself. Like you're afraid to make a decision because you don't believe in your intuition. You don't believe in your ability to choose. But just make a damn choice. It's your life. At the end of the day, it's your life. Do what makes you happy and do the best you can. That's all you can do. That's what I, Just do the best you can. Sometimes we're hard on ourselves, and I, I definitely am hard on myself all the time. But just believe in yourself and put yourself and step outside the gate. Step outside the gate, believe in yourself, and make that decision. Because at the end of the day, it's your life, and you just have to do what makes you happy. And, and those who are meant to be in your life will understand. Let go of this worry, because this is also coupled with the worry, the nine of air, which is worry. Take that leap. Take that step. Let go of worry. Let go of fear. Let go of anxiety. Let go of unbelief. And believe in yourself. And then you have the reason why you feel this is because something that happened in the past. There is either a love from the past that has you feeling um, worried or bringing you anxiety. Or it's like um, something happened in the past that's bringing you worry and anxiety. But regardless, know that liberation is on the other side of fear. And this is you. This is your energy. Knight of air, knave of fire. It's like knight of air, action. Knave of fire, inaction. It's like going back and forth between action and inaction because, again, you don't believe in your, in your ability to choose the right person. That's all it is. You're afraid you're going to choose the right person. Another way of saying that is you don't believe in your ability to choose the right person. I meant to say you're afraid of choosing the wrong person. Not the right person. You want to choose the right person. You're afraid of choosing the wrong person. 
because you don't believe in your ability to choose. Maybe, I don't know, you're, something is causing fear. But you have to let go of that fear because I pull more cards. I pull a Moonology card. It is reading both energies as well. So, it's time to take action. And I believe this is for the person who resonates as a masculine. It's time to take action. You gotta let that fear go. Which has a sign to take action. Feminine, the answers you need are coming because the masculines are about to take action. I'm, I'm always going to do these readings together now. And guess what? It's going to be a win-win for both because this is on the bottom of the deck. A win-win outcome is forecast. The masculine is going to take action and feminine, the answers you need are coming. Maybe that's what I'm going to label this reading because... That's pretty dope how two cards came out for both energies because, like I said, I feel both energies in this reading. Anyway, I wish you luck, love, and light in your journeys. Pray for me on my journey. I got to lose 20 pounds. I'm trying to lose 5 pounds a week. It may not look like it on this video, but I definitely need to lose it. So, wish me luck on my journey and my tri-keto. Comment if you have any ideas or pointers about the keto diet. I wish you love light and more light. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew. This